You're watching Daddy and the Big Boy. I'm Ben McCain, the Daddy. I'm Zach McCain, the Big Boy. Okay, the more you talk, the better off we are. So let's, so get after it. Tell me what's going on. No, we're in Cheeto Puffs. We are, we, we just stopped in. We did something, we did something a few minutes ago that we don't do often. We went to Shell. Well, we went to a little, yeah, a Shell convenience store because we were at the post office and you said, Dad, I'm really hungry. Normally, Mom is so good about always bringing you snacks when we are in the car for a while and water. And for some reason, we didn't, uh, oh, well, I was itching a little bit. We didn't. We didn't have the snacks for you. So I said, let's go, let's go in to the convenience store. And we got, we got a few things. What did I get? Uh, like an apple fritter or something. And you got a donut. And it was then, like a glazed bun or man, something. Man, it was yeah. good. I and got then, like um, a chocolate covered donut with sprinkles. And I got a Coke with that crushed ice. I haven't done that in a while. And oh, it was good. Because sometimes you can get a Coke at some of these places and they're so watered down. I am so glad that you haven't gotten into drinking soft drinks. You know? I like lemonade. What? You like lemonade? And Zach drinks a little coffee on Sundays. Where we go to church, they serve, you can get coffee, and he gets a little coffee with creamer. I drink my coffee black. I like it black, hot, and strong, as we've talked about. But on Sundays, we do a little creamer, and you seem to really enjoy it, don't you? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, that guy's going to park right there. He's got his lights on. He's going to turn his lights off. He just pulled right up next to us, right up in front of us. What do you think? You think he's going to turn his lights up, or you think his lights will go off? What do you think, Biggin? Mm, maybe he'll turn his lights off. Oh, there's a nice Texas truck there. That looks like uh, our, our buddy right there, Tyler Van Meer. Mm hmm? He sure had a pretty girl with him. Is that Tyler? No. He had a pretty girl with him, and she was from Texas. We just met him. He's in our neighborhood. Tyler Van Meer, and he uh, works for Titleist. It's a golf club, golf club company. These are pretty good. There. It'd be a lot better if I had that Coke. Where's some of the... Oh, look at that. Boy, I messed up. I got it. I got it. I don't know how. Boy, I just put some new mats in here. That was messy. They're gonna think, boy, did you get me some of those hand washed? Mm -hmm. They're gonna think, boy, that that daddy on that show, he's he's messy. These are one of the greatest inventions in the world. These uh, baby wipes or hand wipes. You know, you can. That guy did turn out his lights in front of us. Oh man, these are these are, aren't these great hand wipes? They're great. Great. Baby wipes. One of the greatest inventions ever. What did I tell you a few days ago when we were at the farm? I said one of the greatest inventions was a drill driver. A drill driver. They tell me that uh, some of the Amish kids um they will use a drill driver if nobody's looking. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. And, I, and uh, I have great respect for the Amish and the Mennonites, but they don't want to use uh, electrical stuff, I understand. But they said one guy. Fingers. One guy. Oh, man. Here, here, here. No, 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 no. Don't do that to your daddy. 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 That's not funny. 
That's not funny. But they, the one guy, he's a builder, and he said, sometimes those, uh, oh, man, washer. <laughs> Look at that. And he, he's double-jointed, you and your buddy Ollie. Can you do that with both of them right there in front? Mm -hmm. He does that. He's He can do that. You, and you're dripping your... Uh, Sorry. It's all right. <sighs> <laughs> anyway, the guy, he's a home builder, and he said, sometimes those uh, Amish boys will use the drill driver when uh, nobody's looking. Anyway, that's that's interesting. But I've got a, I went, uh, we were down in, I think, Columbia, and I went into this place where they were selling belts, and this, uh, he was either, an Amish guy made a, uh, made these belts and they said man they'll last a lifetime and i've been wearing this black belt it's comfortable and uh, i don't think it's going to wear out i like it too we're in the sprouts parking lot uh, no we're just we're going to stop to get a few things today i think we're going to get uh, are we going to get some sushi today i think isn't that what she said Maybe. We're gonna get some sushi, man. We never. I never used that term when I was growing up in West Texas. It was not. We didn't. We didn't do sushi. In fact, I don't think I had. I don't think I had shrimp. Experienced shrimp until I was like, eighteen or nineteen. I just. We just didn't. Didn't eat shrimp. Dad. Didn't eat a lot of know, fish. Um, do you know what this? She does hold. I do not. Oh. That's where we stopped and got her. That's why our viewers know the name of this cheetah. Because I do. Cheetos, really? Mm-hmm. And maybe we'll tell them in the next video. Well, what? What, do you, what is it? It's right here. Well, you don't know what it's called? I well, do. Let's just tell them. Let's don't. No, well, I want to surprise them in the next video. Well... Okay, so what, what's the what's the question? What what is the question for our your what's subscribers? The what's the of name this, of this cheetah? What's the name of the cheetah or the Cheeto? The cheetah. The cheetah on the. What's the name of the cheetah on the Cheetos pups? And you know the name? Mm -hmm. It's on just any Cheeto packet. It's what? It's on any Cheeto packet. I see it right here. Uh huh. Don't tell them. Don't tell them, but you 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 can uh, also. We haven't mentioned this, but they keep telling us because we're always trying to expand Zach's channel, and I tell people it's Zach's channel, and Daddy's just here to help. Because um, I think you seem to have the personality that you could do something in media if if you want to, like my dad. Dad did not pressure us to, hey, you've got a farm, you got to raise cattle, you got to do this, you got to do it. He to do what you enjoy. And and then he said, buy, dry, buy good dry land if you can. <laughs> he always kind of added that and buy some land if you can. He always tried that. So I'm going to tell you, you do what you want, but buy some land if you can, you know, later on. You said the other day, you kind of surprised me. You said you want to buy us new trucks for the farm. Isn't that what you said? Well, that's nice of you. You think we need some new trucks? <laughs> Our others are a little dusty. Um, little, well, little. I don't think they're dusty. Yeah, they are sometimes. They get dusty. What I was going to mention, uh, do us a favor. You can email us at daddy and the big boy. D A D D Y A N D V T H E big boy at gmail.com do that for us just email us and let us have your email address because uh I've, I've been reading or been listening to some of the the uh experts in the youtube world and they say get those email addresses and that way you can uh send emails to people and you know uh, do a variety of uh special things once you have the email addresses we're not going to sell them or give them to anybody else but we just We'd like to have, and then you can send us, maybe you might not want to comment in the uh, commenting section, and maybe you have some advice for us 
to, to be better at what we do. What do you think, Zach? I mm -hmm. mean, Daddy's always, I, I, I'm looking for, to, to improve. I'm, I'm looking to improve to be a better dad, you know? You may want to send me some secret emails saying this is what you could do better to be a better dad. I know what you could do. What? You could get me more Nerf guns Ugh. and pl play more Nerf battles with me. Oh. You usually don't do any more Nerf battles with me uh, I kinda, you've, I've kind of worn out on that. Plus, and you've got little buddies that, you know, no. once, once the... Once the I want to never move. Well, and then and Teddy never... and Daniel moved, and then the vein moved, and only Ryan's here. Well, he's the only one. Ryan and his little brother Adam. Have you talked to those guys about Nerf Wars? Well, uh, no. No, but well. they usually have to go to karate practice. Well, let's see. You so um, that's something to think about. Working with those uh, the Adams boys, the Adams brothers. Boy, you've made, made, we've sure been through a lot of, a lot of, man, people are coming and going here in Middle Tennessee, aren't they, Zach? Mm -hmm. Coming and going. And Lance and Miles are in Murfreesboro. Yep. But you got your buddies that you ride the bus with, Ollie and Ben. Yep. And those are your guys. And Ryan rides the bus, and then Isla. But your buddies that you like to sit with, that's uh, Ollie and Ben, right? Mm hmm. So email us at daddyandthebigboy at gmail.com. You can email my dad what the name of this. Yeah, email, email that, that, what the name of the. Or you can just put it down in the comments. Oh, yeah, e either way. And let us in the name of the cheetah on the Cheetos Puffs bag, right? It's on any just cheetah. On any of them? Any but them. don't cheat and look at the bag. See if you can just, fig figure, just it out. figure it out. Yeah. Okay, okay. Do you know what the uh, motto is of the John Deere? We plow deep while others sleep. We plow deep while others sleep. I heard that a long time ago. That's what they say about John Deere. But how come plow... on the back it says, nothing runs like John Deere? Yeah, that's that's another one. Mm -hmm. That's another one, I guess. But I remember we plow deep while others sleep. We used to say that when we did our morning show in Oklahoma City. Butch and I, we'd get up early about four o'clock every morning. I think dad w w we was the proudest of us when we did that morning show in Oklahoma City. He thought that was great. We were all dressed up in nice suits. And when we moved to Hollywood, I was tell I told my friend, I've told some of my friends, Mike Turpin, including uh, one of Mike Turpin and then some other guys. I said, if we happen to win some big award in Hollywood, we'd win it. And then dad would probably say, but you boys really had it good in Oklahoma. That's what he would always say, no matter what was going on with us in L.A. He he just loved us being in Oklahoma City. I think it was because we were just five or five to six hours away, and he liked being close to his boys. But he used to say that no matter what was going on in L.A., or if we got on a big show or did a commercial, he'd go, but boy, you boys really had it good in Oklahoma, didn't you? Well, we, we did. We enjoyed Oklahoma. We have fond memories of the great state of Oklahoma. You've been to Oklahoma once. You've been to Tulsa. Remember when we were diverted yep. on that flight from Nashville? We were flying into Dallas, and because of the... Look at that double-jointed boy. And then I use this. I do this. I, can do I take off my finger. Whoa! It, you, you, you guys in kindergarten used to really like that. They'd say, pull off your finger. I can do it, too. Pull off your finger. Zzz. But it's back. It's back. Thank you for watching. Daddy and the Big Boy. Uh, you can email us at daddyandthebigboy at gmail.com. Daddyandthebigboy at gmail.com. See you next time. Bye.